Greetings fellow YouTubers, Irv Lindsay here. Well you guys know at Irv TV we explore Cincinnati history and today, today I'm going to tell you about the Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce building uh, and we are going to sift through the fog and mist of urban myth and legend to discover just exactly what happened to some of the remains of the old Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce building. Stick around, I think you'll like this one. The uh, Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce building was a huge building. It used to be downtown where the PNC Bank Tower is today. It cost about three quarters of a million dollars to build. And it was a beautiful structure. I'll throw a picture of it up here. I, I believe this is a postcard. Well, what happened to it? Well, uh, a fire was started on the top floor and it eventually engulfed the entire building. Well. They went to look at the insurance policy afterwards and for some reason it was only insured for like $90,000. So the powers that be in Cincinnati do what they usually do, they just tore it down. Right here, right here in Eden Park, the Eagles by the big Eden Park Bridge. Yeah, those are, those are from the Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce building. I find that incredibly interesting. Did you guys know that? More of the building has been scattered around town and it took a little bit of research and a little bit of digging for me to figure out the next leg of this story, which is kind of spooky, filled with mystery, and uh, takes place out on the west side of town, which is where we're going next. Some of the spookier tales to be had around Cincinnati come from Buffalo Ridge Road, way out on the west side, way out almost to the Indiana border. And uh, a lot of them are now comprised of the Mitchell Memorial Forest out here. And uh, it's some very beautiful land, and it has a story to tell, but years ago, the old, the, the old urban legends say this area was haunted. Haunted. <laughs> if you know anything about urban legends, you'll know about the Buffalo, uh, Buffalo Ridge Crematorium. Supposedly an old crematorium out here where all sorts of cult activity is supposed to be happening, dead bodies to be found in a bottomless pit of a lake, uh, and the crematorium supposed to have blown up and pieces of the building were thrown all along the countryside and could be found all in the woods. Well, folks, there was never a crematorium here. <laughs> um, I don't know who started the whole crematorium story. It's a great story, but there was no crematorium. Let me tell you the real story. When the Chamber of Commerce building burned down uh, and they demolished it, somebody said, hey, let's make lemon, let's like make, make lemonade out of this really bad situation. Let's, let's make some lemonade out of these lemons, right? And so they said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scavenge a bunch of this marble, this beautiful pink marble that the building was made out of, and we're going to build an observatory. And we got to get away from town because if you're going to build an observatory, a telescope can look at the stars, you need, you need to get away from the city and the light and the haze and the pollution. And so they went all the way out almost to Cleves, which is basically where I am at now, and they built the foundations of an observatory. The Great Depression hit, they ran out of money, Long story short, the project was abandoned and the woods grew up around it and it's now uh, uh, a, uh, it's, now, it's now all parkland. A lot of those, 
A lot of those marble bricks strewn around the countryside are now swallowed by forest, and the base and remains of the old observatory, which a lot of people call a crematorium, is now gone. It's been covered up and um, done away with, but the mysterious stones can be seen, a lot of them right here at the entrance to the, to the park. But this isn't the only place you can find some of this old pink granite around Cincinnati. There's another place, and that's where the end of today's story will lead us back out to Burnett Woods. So in the late 1960s, early 70s, a group of students at the University of Cincinnati got together and figured out the whole story about the um, Buffalo Ridge Crematorium, or as we now know, the Buffalo Ridge Observatory. And they figured out all those abandoned stones were in fact bits and pieces of the Chamber of Commerce building that had been abandoned. And so they got together and they raised money and in the early 70s they erected this memorial to the, to the man who was the architect. And yes, what you are looking at here is one of the, is the title, the title stone off of the Chamber of Commerce building. Check that out. And if that doesn't give you chill bumps, I don't know what will. But over here is a more complete tale about the Chamber of Commerce building. And I'll just kind of scroll down this and if you guys want to read about it, you can. But here I can reach out and I can touch the remains of the Chamber of Commerce building. They're right here. And you can see the, the detail that was in the building in this pale pink granite. Look at this. This almost looks like, almost looks like, uh, you know, Mayan ruins or something, doesn't it? I mean, to me, it's just, it's crazy. And they were, they were put here as a memorial to the architect, and I still didn't find his name. I know it's on here. Um, let's see. So it was Henry Hobson Richardson who died in 1886. Actually, he died before the Chamber of Commerce building was completed. But this is totally awesome. And it's, it's rare that I can tell you about a building and then show you what it used to look like, kind of, sort of, because you can see this pink uh, granite. And as a matter of fact, this still has a shine to it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, if you like this video, I got a playlist should be popping up right about there, maybe now, <laughs> uh, that has a bunch of other uh, history videos that I have put together for you guys. Go over there and check those videos out, guys. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video.